wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Hello everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. It's Lisa here and Sir Cheeto Puff Daddy over here as well. He didn't want to get down. He didn't want to leave me alone today. So I decided to let him stay since he's being so kind and laying down. But I have Burger King today. I know that so many people have been trying it, but I have never had it. The ghost pepper Whopper and the ghost pepper chicken fries. So, and then I, I got a medium combo. So I also got some fries and some pink lemonade in here. I did get the sweet and sour sauce because that's my favorite sauce to get. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that that's what I prefer to dip any chicken items in or fries and stuff. I'm sad that they only gave me one. I got an eight piece order of it, but let me unpackage everything, take a thumbnail, and then we'll dig in. All right, let's take a bite of this. It looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm starving and a burger sounded so good. What does it have on it? Ooh, I think it's crispy. Still pickle thingies, crispy pickle thingies. I already taste the spice a little bit. Wow. I don't know that I've ever had sweet and sour sauce from Burger King. To be honest, I don't really eat Burger King all that often. Let's try one of their chicken fries. Mmm. Mmm. Let me try some without the sauce. They're a little spicy. Mmm. Do you hear Cheeto, you guys? Mmm. Their sweet and sour is definitely not my favorite, but it's still good. Mm. Pink lemonade, I haven't had that in a while. So strange to see like an orange bun. Am I centered? I don't know. So I finished two books. I was trying to read like thriller or kind of creepy books because it's Halloween season, you know, or spooky season, the October. So the first book I read is called Sometimes I Lie. And the synopsis of it is there's this woman that is in a coma and she is like awake in a coma, right? Like she can't open her eyes or move, but she can hear and feel everything that's going on. And she knows that it was an accident, but she doesn't know what happened or what's going on. And the police start investigating it because they don't think that she was like alone in the vehicle. But you're like learning it as she's learning it from like the doctors and 
people around her talking. And it's just like really mysterious because nobody really knows exactly what happened. And then it also goes back into these diary entries from when she was a child and it kind of gives like a background story to the mental health aspect of certain things that happened and crazy stuff. So it goes from the when she was in the hospital bed to the diary entries and then there's another part where it's like it says like then now and um like back then in the diary. But it goes back to the, um, like right before the, the, like the couple weeks leading up to the accident and what was transpiring between her and certain people. Um, I did think that the author made a couple of mistakes if she wanted the twist for it to turn out to actually be true. But nevertheless, it was definitely kind of creepy. I loved it. Um, I was really intrigued the whole time to like continue on. I read it pretty fast. Oh. Now, I feel like these just kind of taste like spicy chicken fingers or chicken fries. Um, there's kind of a weird flavor to them. I don't know if it's the sweet and sour or them. Mm. I do love the crispy little pickled chips on here though. That was a very cheesy bite. It's spicy. But I like spicy, so. Ketchup say Utah on it and have a pastrami burger. That's I don't know what is going on. I watched Peggy Neo eat multiple of these whoppers. I didn't even really get dressed to leave the house today to go pick this up because I'm just so tired today. I've been having trouble sleeping since Kevin's been gone. And probably because I'm not smoking weed anymore. Well, for the time being, I'm taking a break. But I'm not sure I like these. <coughs> they have a weird flavor to them. Like... It's not the sauce. Is it the sauce? Let's try it with some fries. No, it's not the sauce. <laughs> I can't describe what it is, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm still going to eat it because it's not like I taste that the whole time. It's kind of like a underlying taste to it not an aftertaste because i taste it the whole time but it's not super strong either but it's just odd
The cheesy on this, this. The cheesiness on this that tripped me up. It's very good. But I remember somebody saying that it was kind of dry. I think I have to agree. Like, I wish there was like something like ketchup around it or something. Maybe I should get more ketchup and put it on it. It's getting a little spicy though, it builds. Kev told me to get something for dessert, but I have a pint of ice cream that's a limited time from H-E-B, so I think I'm going to film that and put it on H -E on, on H-E-B, <laughs> film it and put it on TikTok. Mmm. Definitely wanted this today. How have all of you been? What are you guys gonna be for Halloween if you dress up for Halloween or celebrate Halloween? Definitely not the best sweet and sour. I figured I would try it. Oh, I didn't give you guys a dip. Or you can try to do that. Mm. Okay, and another book that I read. It was called The Silent Patient. Now, this one was supposed to be like super, well, both of them were super popular. Like they had a bunch of holds on them at the library because that's how I do my books. Mm. Oh. Mm. But I think that most people read the books fast, faster than I do pretty much. But The Silent Patient. It's about this woman that was convicted of killing her husband seven years prior to when the book starts. Um, she hasn't spoken a single word since then. She's only like painted this one painting because she's an artist. Super controversial about what really happened. Nobody knows what occurred nobody knows why she won't speak and because she won't speak they ended up putting her like in a i don't even know what you would actually call it a ward for like the criminally insane and it's not from her perspective there is a die there are diary entries like leading up to the night of the murder which again this is like similar kind of writing to that other book they're not the same author though and um so it's her diary entries then and then it's also this it, but it's told from the perspective of her psychotherapist <clears throat> and it's him getting this new job to work with her and trying to get her to speak and there is a pretty crazy twist at the end but my only like gripe with it is that the first book that I read it tells you the timeline right so you know the timeline um and I with I feel like I don't want to give us too much away but basically the way that the the author writes something they kind of leave out a big part that you're like of course you're not going to guess this because you're not even being forthcoming with what you're actually writing um 
I don't know how else to describe it without giving it away. But um, it's really good, definitely worth a read, and um, I enjoyed it a lot. And I just started another book today. Um, hopefully that one will be finished soon. It should be a shorter book, and it's like just romance, no creepy or thriller stuff. But I love like thriller, mystery, um, twist endings. Wow, I ate all my fries. I feel like their patties are pretty decent on their burgers. I did see that they have like the Hershey pie, but like I said, I already have ice cream here. Might as well eat that. So I've literally had it for like two or three weeks and haven't even dug into it. But let me know if you guys have had the Hershey pie from Burger King. I don't know that I have. But it looks good. I'm salivating a lot today. <laughs> Man, I've been having trouble sleeping and I just wake up so much during the night now. It's alright though, I feel pretty exhausted today so hopefully tonight will be good. <laughs> I keep seeing their theme song in my head. MPK, have it your way. <laughs> so annoying, I get songs stuck in my head all the time. <sighs> Alright. I don't know, maybe I could do another bite. That bacon's really good too. Actually crispy. Cause I feel like a lot of fast food places have a problem with keeping their bacon bacon pretty crispy when it's put on a burger. All right guys. I think I'm done. This is pretty good. Definitely spicy, like I feel spice in my mouth, but it's not overwhelmingly or bad. Um, definitely not what I think ghost pepper would be, but it's good. Um, but like I said, I am somebody that does love spicy food and my tolerance is not that low. So keep that in mind if you do wanna try this. But I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's so cute to have a black, or a orange bun with black sesame seeds my because i'm so tired today my brain is like not functioning properly <laughs> but i love you all so much thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one bye uh, <laughs> excuse me all right i know it's been a little while since i've done a before and after belly but there's the before all right my mouth is still a little burning from that but here is the after belly. You heard Cheeto scream. <laughs>